you guys got uh, turnover, interception, stop on downs, interception in that second half. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how important was it for the defense to kind of put it away once you got the lead back? Yeah. Uh, you know, giving up the touchdown in the first half was – uh, we were a little bit annoyed with ourselves about that. Uh, but in the second half, I thought we did a good job of uh, either getting off the field um, by turnover or just, uh, you know, those fourth down stops were huge. So, Cam, how, was it, how important was it just to get a win? Stop your spot. Very, very important. Um, you know, we've had a long uh, time to think about our last loss, um, especially with the bye week. Um, but I think it was just important to go out there and play football. Um, you know, that, the sick taste after that last loss uh, and then just having to deal with it for the past two weeks is, um, you know, you're raring to go and ready to, get it, ready to get it out of there. Cam, you listed after the last game a lot of areas you'd like to see growth from the defense. Um, where did you see the most growth from the last week to this one? I thought the run defense was really good. Um, you know, um, I think just everybody playing assignment football, um, even there was one play um, – TJ took the assignment of, you know, taking uh, Taysom Hill out of the play. Uh, but with that, you know, getting the ball out of his hands, and we, I think we gave up a 10 yard run, but you could see the execution there. Um, so uh, the execution I just thought picked up um, in the run defense, and then uh, that led to the sacks, a couple of sacks, uh, and the turnovers as well. The third and one and the fourth and one stops. Mm -hmm. uh, you and the 99 had the third down stop. Can you tell us anything behind the scenes, anything interesting in those two plays? Uh, you know, it was funny. I was kind of annoyed we called it the timeout because um, I thought we were going to get the stop before that. Uh, you know, and, you know, most of those times when you see the quarterback getting underneath, you know it's a sneak. Uh, and, you know, it's mano a mano. Um, who gets lower in your pad level? Um, who turns their feet? Uh, making sure there's a big pile up in the middle and then making sure, um, you know, on the – the third and one was actually the the run to Kamara, um, and you know you know Kamara's in the game. You're either thinking he's getting out quick or they're giving him the ball somehow. Um, and then the fourth and one, uh, it's just about making sure there's a pile and then making sure our linebackers can fill over top. What, what, what caused that pile? Who was who's in the middle of that pile? Uh, me and Larry. <laughs> that was third down too. You guys made the tackle. Yeah. Why did you you said you thought you were going to stop him there? Why? Um. Just, I think, just awareness and understanding what they were going to run. Um, I, I felt good about the call, and then uh, we called the timeout, and I don't think they were ready for it. And so, um, you know, knowing where the ball was going to be, but um, we stayed ready and got off the field. Is there a different energy today with, with <coughs> TJ out there? You know, I, I, I don't think it's just TJ. I think TJ and KZ, they both play with great energy. Um, you know, I think just having – more of our defenders back. I know we lost Minka right before the game, but um, you know it's a, it's a breath of fresh air to have him back. Um, getting guys like Larry and Miles healthy uh, were huge, and you know uh, the more guys we can have to the you know the parties, the more we're going to be successful going forward. TJ, TJ was crediting Rob for his communication out there. How valuable was he in this game and other things that he's done in other games? Big plays in there. <coughs> You know, we, we put a lot of stress on our linebackers, um, including me. Um, I'm the first to talk about my linebackers and get in their face and, you know, let them know when, what I need um, because communication from that position is critical. Um, and I thought they did a great job, Rob, Devin, Miles, um, and just reverberating those calls because we all need them. Um, and when our crowd is loud like that, they got to be loud as well. Cam, every defense wants the splash plays, and today those came for you on the back end. Mm -hmm. How connected is that to you guys winning up front, stopping the run, getting them behind the chains, and, and getting some pass rush too? You know, I think first it start, starts with stopping the run. You can make a team uh, one-dimensional um, and they have to pass the ball uh, and go down the field. Um, you know, it's huge. Uh, and then our back end, you know, being opportunistic. Um, you know, even the Levi play, you look at it, he – he had to go and take it from him. Um, and, you know, when you do that, uh, it makes you successful. So um, kudos to that. But, you know, it's just about playing good team defense. Um, everybody just working hand in hand and being complimentary. 
Yeah, yeah. Those were the plays you guys, the guys in the back end, weren't making Philadelphia, Miami, hunt. But, but that was an example of yeah. making the play. What's that do when, when they make the play for you guys? Uh, it's teach tape. Um, it's something you can you know continue to grow on and say, hey, when we make these plays, we're a much better defense. When did you know Minka wasn't going to play? Like, was, hurt? <laughs> uh, was he hurt in practice? Saturday. Um, before the game, I mean, you know, after walkthrough, I just saw something on my phone, uh, and I texted him, and he was like, "Yeah, I had to get surgery." You know, we saw him during the walkthrough, and you know, not thinking anything. Make it make us just, you know, make us grumpy all the time. So <laughs> you're not thinking anything of it, but uh, you know, um, after seeing it come across my phone and you know checking in on him, um, you know, Mike T even explained to us. He was like, first thing first, you got to take care of the player." Um, and, you know, we got to make sure we take care of our business while uh, Minka's out. So a testament to the defense, uh, a little bit of what the offense was able to do today and start a sustaining drive and you guys staying fresh? Yeah, you know, I think uh, the best defense is a defense on the sideline. Um, and when the offense can sustain drives and, you know, can continue to keep pounding them, uh, it's huge. Um, we love seeing their defenders tired um, and, you know, uh, kind of annoyed that they got to keep going out there. Um, I will be the happiest guy if I only have to play 20 snaps in a game. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, but uh, looking forward to it. You mentioned KZ and the energy he brings. In terms of having a veteran like that to fill in for Minka at the last second like that, what's that do for this defense? It, it, it does wonders. Um, you know, he's a veteran guy, plays with a chip on his shoulder. Um, if you've been in our locker room, KZ's been one of the louder guys this week. Uh, I think him and Miles were about to fight every day in a, in a playful way. But, uh, you know, um, Casey just, you know, he, he, he's small in stature, but big with his voice. Um, and, you know, he, his, his play, he plays big as well. So having a guy like that being able to put out there when a guy like Minx down uh, was very huge. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.